My name's Paul Elliott. I'm here representing Plymouth Energy Community. We are um, an independent cooperative organisation set up to help people lower their energy bills and help uh, generate their own power and reduce carbon emissions. So my, my background and my, my sort of key interest really in, in, in Plymouth Energy Community is, is the whole ethos behind communities being able to do something about whatever issue it might be. The, the different things we offer include tariff switching, include um, insulating your home, include fuel debt advice and our, our solar share scheme on schools and, and they're all based on the community being able to either market or lead or tell the neighbours about it. It's that kind of grassroots level engagement that really gets, uh, you know, floats my boat if you like. When we first started uh, Plymouth Energy Community, one of our main aim was to help people um, switch their tariff to, to a cheaper tariff. And we were conscious that uh, collective switches had been done nationally before with, with varying degrees of success, but one thing they hadn't done was really target uh, the people that need help the most, so people who are on prepayment meters, for example. And what we did was set up a, a switching service that offered bespoke advice to, to those individuals. Um, so if it wasn't worth a, a, someone switching, we, we, we would tell them that. And it would be, rather than an email, we could do it by phone or letter or whichever form of communication that person felt most comfortable with. And that helped a real sort of feeling of in, uh, inclusivity. So anyone could, could apply for this. And we could also help people on prepayment meters, which was really important because these are the people that needed the help the most. F following on from that, we then developed it and we started using Plymouth Energy Community as, as a bit of a marketing tool really for uh, British Gas's insulation scheme, so part of the eco uh, obligation that all the energy companies have to meet. And that was really successful and a really steep learning curve with British Gas. But what we did was take a, a, a big multinational company like British Gas and put it to them that actually this community-led approach with our community branding and our own logo would have a far greater impact than if British Gas just went in there with, with their sort of marketing and campaign. And it really worked. We had a great um, success rate in terms of people wanting to answer the door to someone that was wearing a T-shirt that said Plymouth Energy Community as opposed to British Gas. Um, Following on from that, other opportunities then, then became available. Um, so we now have uh, a fuel debt advice service uh, that we're, that's externally funded um, by British Gas again that, that will start in uh, late April, offering advice to people in, in debt arrears as well as being able to uh, clear debts via an application process to an energy trust, which is really good. And we have our energy champions. So again, once interest starts to be created and we start getting with buzz, people people want to be involved. So we have energy champions who have, over the last three months, run a, a programme of events where they've talked to uh, you know, consumers who weren't sure about switching and, and how they can do that. They've talked to frontline workers, perhaps social workers, who will be in contact with people who might not be able to switch themselves or know what energy efficiency is. Um, and our sort of our latest project, if you like, at the minute, is, is our solar share offer. So community shares where we use um, share offer uh, to install solar panels on, on, on the roofs of primarily schools to start with and that's going really well. We've seen a, a really high level of interest in, from the community um, in part because we've managed to put shares as low as £50 to start with um, but also it's really encouraging that people want to be involved and it's about finding what, what driver will trigger an individual to get involved. For some they might be interested in the environment anyway, some might just naturally want to lower their energy bills, some might want some kind of financial um, incentive back from this. So the solar share offer um, is able to uh, provide people with a return on investment, is, is able to give schools cheap electricity and is able to lower the carbon emissions. So we've been really inspired and, and motivated by the level of interest that people have shown with Plymouth Energy Community and with the projects we're doing. You know, it really helps us, A, in terms of keep going, but also think about, well, what else might people be interested in? What else can we do to develop? And of course, we'll, we'll take those learnings from the community. We'll be asking them what, what it is that we can do uh, to, to better benefit them. I became involved uh, with Plymouth Energy Community um, through my work with, with, with Plymouth City Council. So. Um, I was originally employed by, uh, and still am employed by Plymouth City Council in, in a new team that was set up called the Low Carbon City Team, which was set up to help um, lower the carbon footprint of Plymouth through, through whatever means, and the associated uh, things that go with that, so tackle fuel poverty, energy prices, etc. Uh, uh, through that team, um, we've sort of been staffing Plymouth Energy Community, 
Um, and because of that, the, the, the link with the council has really helped you know, solidify um, a, a really good relationship there. So um, I kind of wear two hats. I have a Plymouth City Council hat and a Plymouth Energy Community hat. Um, but I'm really pleased that I'm, I can still be involved in both at the same time. It's, it's phenomenally rewarding being able to uh, spend your days, your work days, doing something that you really believe in and you really know is making a difference to a whole raft of people. So whether it's the person who has just suddenly realised they've got the warm homes discount, and that's an extra 135, 140 quid that they didn't think they had, um, you know, which makes a massive difference over the, over the course of a winter to some people. They could hear their home. I mean, that's brilliant. Whether it's that or whether it's uh, getting, you know, from, from one end of the spectrum to the other, getting a, a 20,000 pounds worth of investment to, for, for solar schools from a, from a local housing association, because you've talked to them and you've convinced them of the benefits um, and the wide reaching benefits of it. There's a real wide range of, uh, of sort of motivating factors from the very humble, from those people that can't afford to heat their properties suddenly can, to the big, uh, big more extreme events like the, like the 20,000 pounds investment. Um, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a phenomenally rewarding uh, job to be doing really.